Hi guys, so I'm here with Dawood. Hey, what Dawood. up? Peace. Um, Dawood has been to CAM, how many years have you been? Two years. Two years, so uh, this is going to be the sixth year, so he's been to two of two um, of six of them. Yep. I wanted to ask you about your thoughts on the CAM. Um, why do people need to donate? Why do people need to donate? Because um, it's an amazing opportunity for a lot of young people. Um, and older people, because I feel like all the counselors benefit like greatly from the experience as well. A lot of people's ex um, horizons have been expanded. Mm -hmm. um, you know, their their view of the world has been improved by this experience. So you know, and then they've, and they've gone on to come back here and then do do work further work with young people um, that they hadn't done previously. But um, the camp is just important. Those kids on that mountain. They greatly appreciate it. Like it's like one of the things you hear commonly is people talk about kids don't kids don't appreciate things and they don't take initiative and they're lazy and all this stuff we hear all the time. That's not the case with those kids. There, you give them some paint and they're gonna go in and like do something. They create. You give them the tools, they make something happen. Um, and we're and teaching from, skills. Yeah, they're, Where? they're they're getting great skills, you know. But um, it's it's just it's just one of those things that it's like sometimes I think people um. We're a little bit jaded sometimes and we don't we don't want to support things because we've kind of lost faith in a lot of stuff and for me in general we've been working with young people for a really long time here in new york like my work with them has Im helped improve my attitude when working with like kids here you know what i mean because those kids there kind of remind me of what kids are really like like kids here are kind of like they're jaded, you know what I mean? There's, there's a and lot going on. These kids are literally in the there, mountains. These kids they're living in the mountains. Nothing. They're kids. Even though they're, you know, teenagers, they still know how to have fun. They play. You know, there's not that, that self-conscious, like, uh, fake illusion. You know, they're, they're, they're free children. You know what I mean? So it's it's really an amazing experience. And it's it's something where, where like, you know, we're providing the seeds and they're planting it and you get to see it become fruitful like because we're only, within that week. Yeah, the one week. We're there for one week, but the skills that the skill set that we're gonna teach them and the funding that we are hoping to continue to lay is gonna last the rest of the year and then we're gonna follow back so we're gonna be back there next year. Mm -hmm. So it's not just for this one week, it's for the whole year. It's something that we are gonna have them use and continue to use for months to come and right. then we're going to touch back base with them and it's it's they, they gain useful skills like it's not just like you know through the camp the older teens organized and started like community boards kind of thing Radio where they station. go around and they they work with the community and help the elderly where they live and they're taking a lot more initiative and ownership for where they live you know and it's, it has a lot to do with seeing outsiders come in and show so much love and support for them for their community so they're like wait a second we live here you know what I mean? We need to do something. We need to take just as much initiative to, to affecting our, our world and our home where we live. So it's it's not just, it's like we're there for like that that week, you know what I mean? But it, it lingers. It lasts the whole year around. And, and they don't stop. They're constantly contacting you on Facebook. You know what I mean? I have kids popping up on Viber and, and all that stuff <laughs> on my phone. I'm like, who's this? And they're like, it's, you know, it's such and such from the mountain. I'm like, yeah, it's the crazy. Mountain. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's, it's a real thing for them. You know? Yes. And this is Zebby's community. Um, Zebby's a dear friend of ours. So she's the founder. She started it herself. And now she has all of us supporting her. And we really hope you can help support her further. All the money raised goes to art supplies, infrastructure, chairs, tables. We literally will be teaching classes Ooh. outside. Food for the children. Feeding hundreds of kids. A lot of the money goes to feeding the kids. We feed them every day. Like they, yep. get, they get real meals. You know what I mean? So... So this is settlement um, St. Andrews, I believe, in, near Kingston, Jamaica. Um, and we leave soon. We have about four weeks left. Even if you can give $2, even if your friend can give $2, $2, you know, from 1,000 people, from 100 people, from 500 people, it makes a very big difference. So please give what you can. And if not, forward this video. Please. Forward the link. Forward, you know, Little Rag Rig Little Ragamuffins Camp, Status camp update, org, Facebook. That, everything. So you guys are always on these social networks, so please push something good. Help us, support us, and we really appreciate it. Thank you. Peace.